Hi guys, my name's Craig. Welcome to Small Farmer Life. Now, I have a pure breed poultry farm and poultry, if you leave the cockerels grown, that's why, poultry does attract vermin and it's a nightmare to get rid of them and poisons just don't seem to work that well. But I have a better way that I use that gets rid of rats and it does a really good job of it and I'll show you my recipe it's non-toxic to other animals just rats so if your chickens get at it it won't harm them and it won't harm a dog or anything like that but it will kill rats now what you need for this recipe is a bag of flour any flour, plain flour, self-raising flour. Plaster of Paris. Fast setting plaster of Paris. And you get lots of these little bags inside of that one. You can buy that one off Amazon. I think it costs around about £10 or something like that. And it's a simple mix. It's just one to one ratio. So use a cup full. Of plaster of Paris and honestly guys this works absolutely I've never known any thing to kill rats as fast as this does and when you see how it works it's unbelievable so one cup of plaster of Paris mix that in a tub Sorry about the cockles again, but I don't have poultry farm, like you say. One cup of flour. Mix that in with a plaster of Paris. Now, give that a good mix, like a good stir around. I don't want to get it all on my hands. And one more little trick that I do like to use, and that is a cup of soup. And the reason being, it smells gorgeous and it seems to attract the rats perfectly and it's powdery so just get one sachet of cup of soup put that in and then mix all that together use some sort of spoon and I'll just swap around one here mix it together so it's really mixed up well now that's a lot of plaster of Paris and flour and the rats eat it because obviously it's grains and it's good for those rats well they think it's good for them anyway and the actual cup of soup smells really nice so it attracts them from a distance and what happens is the rats lick up the actual flour mixed with the plaster of Paris and then what it does it sets in the stomach of the rat and I had loads and loads of rats on my farm I put this down and the next morning when I came out I can only describe the scene as the end scene of Al Pacino in Scarface when he was in his house Say hello to my little friend, and he was on the table because there was white dust everywhere. And then after that, there was no rats. I didn't see no rats for ages. Now, one night I walked out and I seen about 20 odd rats all around the chicken coops. And then after I put this down, I didn't see none for ages. And then when I did see them, there were small ones. So obviously, there were other ones moved in. But this is the best solution to kill rats and if your chicken spec at it it's not going to harm them it's not going to harm a dog what you want to do is put it where the actual rats run and then you'll see how much of it they actually eat in one night and you'll find them dead all over the place but i've had poison down before and it's never worked as good as this has this is the best solution and it's not poisonous your kids are not going to get all of it and harm themselves a dog isn't going to harm itself a chicken isn't going to harm itself so no farm animals going to harm themselves 
So it's a good way of getting rid of plenty of rats in one go. And you can make batches of this. And it's a lot cheaper as well than rat poison. Because this, I think it's a 5, 0.5 kilo pouches. So you get 5 of them. So it's 2.5 kilo. And then you get a bag of flour, 50 odd P. And then these cup of soups are about 50p. So guys, the perfect antidote to get rid of your rats. Anyway, guys, that's how I get rid of my rats on my poultry farm. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more upcoming farming videos, then hit that bell button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It's your choice. And most of all, guys, take care of yourself and take care of the family. Mm -hmm.